Hi guys, I'm back on the boat, and so is this guy. I'm not going to be using any kind of glue or epoxy this weekend, so I went ahead and brought Jökul along, and that means that I can spend the entire weekend aboard the boat, not have to go back and forth between the boat and my house each night, so that's pretty awesome. The goal for today is to install the compressor kit that'll turn my icebox into a fridge. But before getting started with that, there's one thing I want to mention. Yesterday I had a visit aboard the boat from a young couple, and uh, that young couple is in all likelihood going to turn out to be my new neighbors here on uh, dock number 3 in the marina. Now they're not going to be my next door neighbors, they're going to be a little closer to the shore, but the cool thing is that this young couple want to live aboard a boat, and uh, well, in all likelihood it's going to end up happening sometime later this summer, and it's going to be awesome to have live aboard friends here on the dock that are sort of a bit closer to my age. I think they're a couple of years younger than me, but still. Also, they've started doing sailing videos on YouTube, so I hope we'll be able to do some sort of collaboration thing. That would be kind of cool. But uh, I'm sure you guys will get to meet them later. For now, let's get started on today's project. Oh, and uh, as always, when I mention a YouTube channel in one of my videos, there's a link in the uh, description for their channel. Jukul and I had a long walk earlier today, so he's all tuckered out, but uh, unlike certain Canadians I know, Alfie, I'm not going to put any kind of weird signs on him while he's sleeping. Here we've got everything I need to complete the installation. This is the manual that was included in the box, and I've gone ahead and given this a thorough reading more than once. Not because this is terribly complicated, but because I want to make sure that I don't mess up. One important thing to note. According to the manual, the uh, mount was an optional extra, but it was included in the box I received. So I don't really know if you purchase a kit similar to this, or even the exact same kit, whether or not you are going to get this mounting bracket. But you should definitely look into that, because having that mounting bracket is going to make the installation a lot easier. Before doing anything else, let's just make absolutely sure that this uh, evaporator plate actually fits inside the tiny icebox. Well, luckily it fits. It is a bit of a tight fit, but it fits. Now these are included with the kit to make sure that you get a bit of distance in between the insulation and the uh, evaporator plate. Looking at this, I'm probably going to drill a hole somewhere around there to lead this tubing out to the cockpit locker where I'm going to be placing the uh, compressor unit. So I think the next step would be for us to empty out the starboard side cockpit locker to have a look at where we could mount the compressor. Oh, welcome to one of my favorite spots aboard the boat. Nuts. I've gone ahead and measured how far the compressor unit that sits on top of this mounting bracket protrudes beyond it, and it turns out to be about 10 centimeters in this direction. So in theory I could go ahead and mount the compressor unit somewhere around here, but I don't really like that, uh, that location. That's going to take up a lot of uh, room in my cockpit locker. Now in my mind I had been able to sort of put this somewhere up here where it wouldn't take up all the space down here. So I think I'm gonna go with an alternate plan. About a week ago Nico from Tam Tam Sailing sent me some photos of how they had installed a similar compressor kit aboard their boat, which is also an Alfred Ballad. Now they'd chosen to put the compressor unit inside this tiny locker right here. Originally I didn't want to go that route because there's not a lot of ventilation in there. But after seeing what kind of options I've got available to me out in the uh, cockpit locker, I think this is actually my best bet. So if ventilation does become an issue, which I don't think it will necessarily, I can always just provide that ventilation. That's going to be pretty easy and it's not going to take up a lot of space out in the cockpit locker. This is going to require me to remove the sink, but luckily I think it's only held in place by four screws. I don't think I used any kind of caulk when I, uh, when I put the sink in. Oh, and uh, please excuse the dishes. I think that's going to work out really well. 
When I did the refit of Oblix, I kept every stainless steel screw I found aboard the boat, and this is a very small portion of them. I've just gone through this bag and I found this, which is the perfect size for mounting that bracket. So let's see if we can find a few more of these. Okay, let's line this up so that we're absolutely sure that we'll be able to get the compressor on there. And that should be good. Okay. Let's just add a couple of more screws so that we're sure that this doesn't start vibrating. Okay, that's on there really good now. The next step is going to be to use a hole saw to cut a hole through this uh, insulation right here and then lead this tube through that hole. According to the manual, you need a 30 millimeter hole saw to be able to lead the fittings through the hole. Uh, this is the closest thing I've got. It's a 38mm hole saw, but um, yeah, that'll do. 